What's up everybody, Chris from Full Steam Designs, and this is Bits of Wisdom. All right, we've already got Carbide Create open. I've drawn a square here. We'll just select that and click the Toolpath tab, and then click on Contour, and now our tool menu will open so we can hit Edit, and then Change Tool. And that's gonna open this new window. And you can see we've got a bunch of new options here and they are all locked so we can't edit anything we can't add anything to them but we can duplicate them so let's uh we'll change this to softwood shapoko and we can just name this whatever uh, chris 3 will do for mine and now when we come down here and expand that when we select one of these tools, you see we get this edit option. So we can actually change some of these things here. Uh, but we can also add a new tool by either right clicking or holding control and clicking if you're on a Mac. Um, so let's add a V-mill. And we can just name it whatever. Our tool number isn't really important. We can put whatever we'd like for that, whatever you'll remember. And let's just make a quarter inch tool. And we'll do a, oops, do a 60 degree. Now, this is something that's changed. We used to have to put the angle from center line. Now, on a 60 degree tool, you put 60. On a 90 degree tool, you put 90. So you put whatever that angle actually is. So we've got that selected. Uh, we can change our, our plunge rate, our feed rates, RPM, depth of cut, on something like this. I like doing like 150. Um, and then you've also got options if you're inputting a tool that you're going to use for 3D. You can change, you know, your step over, uh, how much you allow to uh, uh, leave for the finish or whatever. So there's a lot of stuff you can change. Well, we'll just click OK. And now when we go down to V, you can see that it's added that tool. All right, and now what else has changed is they save this in a different way. So we can come up to Carbide Create and click About. I think that would be under Edit in, uh, or File if you're on a PC. Um, and we'll get this little window here and we can click Open Data Directory. And then we're gonna have this here that says Tools. And we're going to have all these different CSV files that are saved here. And we can double click on one of those to open it. And what it's going to do is it's going to open as a spreadsheet. And you can actually edit these different numbers and, and all the specifications from this screen here, if you would like. If you have any questions you'd like answered on Bits of Wisdom or a recommendation for a bit, please leave a comment down below. I read all of your comments and use them to come up with topics for new videos. Please hit that thumbs up button if you like what you're seeing and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of it. I'll see you over at this next video about woodworking and CNC routers.